Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. We're in uh, the mountains, just coming down a mountain actually, on our way to uh, Maggie Valley. We're on I-40 westbound. Everybody's kind of going pretty slow here. I put it back in tow haul. I'm running about 3,000 RPMs at 50 miles an hour. Uh, coming down from 2,700 feet. And it's holding in a uh, lower range. Also, the, cru the cruise control uh, holds it in a lower range. I don't think I'm on cruise control, actually. Let me... some level ground here. Says I'm getting 6.8 miles per gallon. Uh. I'm going to take it off tow haul. I'm playing around with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm hitting that white line with my mirror. It beeps on me. So we're running at 55. I'm in no hurry. I start going downhill again. I don't want to burn any brakes up. Of course, I got those trailer brakes. We stopped at McDonald's back there. Disgusting. Got gas. 335 a gallon. Buying that gas today. I got this long range fuel tank, 38 miles per gallon, but when I get down anywhere near a half, I just top it off. It's going to shift down on me now. Let me put it in tow haul. Pretty mountains up here. No shortage of trees on these mountains. Out, out in the uh, west, you know, the mountains are a bald landscape, just rock. These are all trees. Anybody know where I'm at? Exit 64, Black Mountain, Montreat. I-40 West. There's a Hampton Inn on that exit. This tow haul isn't doing anything. I'm taking it off. All it does is burn gas. There's a big exit for you, Tammy. You wanted it had more stuff on it. 335 a gallon is about all I can find on the uh, gas app anywhere in this region. About as cheap as you're gonna find. That's a darn sight better than $5 a gallon or $3.89 or $4 a gallon. I got the air conditioning off. Tammy's answering comments. I was, now I'm answering my son who just told me he got a car. All right, congratulations to Tammy's son. He got a car. Well, he got a newer car. Well, so, I didn't say he got a brand still, new car. Yeah. He, he got, got the, a car. He got the Acura, he said. He got it? Yeah. He's, he's stoked. Sick. Tammy's son got an Acura TL. Oh, no, I got a Pretty popular model. He's at work right now. Picture. Should have sent a picture the second he got in it. Sent it to you. Hey, the Bucky's up here, 108 miles away. That's a little out of our range, but maybe when we leave here. Oh, by the way, update. We are not going to the original RV campground, Hillbilly Campground, 
in Maggie Valley. We're going to another RV resort in Maggie Valley on the main road. Uh, Stonewood, Stonehenge, Stone something. We got it for two days. Uh, subscriber Ben, again, looking out for us. He said, you know, not to be in your business, but I don't think you're going to have enough time, you know, to get there today and then tomorrow morning they throw you out. You got to unhook everything and do your business and get out of there. You need a couple of nights, so maybe this place can give you two nights because where we were going, you know, we can only stay one. So we called him, and sure enough, it's a few dollars more. But one thing I got, plenty of money. So we're going to Stonehenge or whatever it is. He sent me the information. We already paid, got confirmation. Hillbilly Campground, I highly recommend. That guy was so nice. He only took my card for a hold. And he says, oh yeah, he goes, you need two days. He goes, my wife and I camp. He says, then you just have to get up and hook up, pack everything up like I just said. So. He had no problems canceling that out. He said, I'll just tear up all your information. And I said, well, we'll come see you next time. So we're really excited. We're gonna be here a couple of days. And here's the update on that. Uh, let me point you over a little bit more this way. We're going two nights and Friday morning, they throw us out. The checkout's at 11. So we're going to my daughter's in Dawsonville, Georgia. And she's going to be out of town and somewhere. And her son, my grandson's going to be there. And we're going to leave the camper there and stay there while we're uh, waiting for two more days to pass to get to the chalet, which is only 30 minutes from there in Ella J. She lives in Dawsonville. So we'll be in the front yard in the driveway with uh, everything we need except sewer, but my grandson's gonna be there so we can use the house and we'll have our own, uh, you know, she's got an electrical cord if we need it, but I got a generator. Anyway, we're gonna work all those details out later. She's working today. So Friday, we're heading to Dawsonville for two days before Sunday, early check-in in Ella J for four days at a beautiful chalet. I'm gonna bring you lots of videos. This place you guys can come and rent yourself. It's an Airbnb that my friend uh, Tom and Joan own. I'll be providing all the information and uh, tell them I sent you. <laughs> But uh, it's, it's really nice. We'll get the videos for you. You'll see for yourself. And then, the 19th, when they throw us out, they actually are coming up there and going in right after us. So they want us to come back and visit with them. So if we're still in the area, we certainly will. But we don't know those plans that far ahead just yet. And we need to we need to get on out. Maybe it's going to be Tennessee. Maybe uh, maybe we're going to head south to. Um, I got people in Louisiana, or uh, you know, there's Destin, Panama City Beach. Of course, that's Florida. And the same thing we got, so I doubt we'll do that. Since we're already up here, you know, maybe that Tennessee would be good. You guys got any ideas? From uh, from North Georgia, after the 19th, we could uh, we could work our way back into the uh, into the Asheville, or I mean. Uh, Maggie Valley and Cherokee area again and continue to see the leave change and uh, ride the Blue Ridge Parkway and all that.
running right along 60 miles an hour, folks. Like it's nothing. Not in no tow haul. Hey, look at here. Asheville, next six exits. Well, you know where we're at. Where are you? Are you living life? Are you planning something? Get out on the road, man. See America. It's currently 65 degrees. We've got a pretty good forecast. I was checking the weather for the uh, uh, the cabin. Roll that back window up. We got a good forecast. Uh, chilly days, 60s, with 30s at night. So that means it's going to take all day to get to the high temperature of 60. So I'm going to have to find me some pants. I do not have a single pair of pants on me. You bought two me. pair, you took them back. I bought two pair, took them back, because they fit me like a sack. But I'm going to need them now. I'm wearing shorts and flip-flops still. We're going to have to also stop and get lots of supplies. Food, all these things before we get to this campground in Maggie Valley. Just I don't know eat. what kind of shopping they're going to have there. What's that? Said, let's just not eat. Huh? Let's just not eat. Tammy says, let's just not eat. That's because that's all she's done, is he? <laughs> she gave me the she gave me the look. Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky <laughs> that you're behind the wheel, Mister, because you're the big eater. Yeah, we don't need to eat anymore. We? <laughs> yeah, I got a mouse in my pocket. We don't have a big old belly. Hey. That's right. Oh, I'm gonna get you. You know you. I'm going to snatch a knot in your tail. That's what the granddaughters are saying now. I tease them on that. I say, I'm going to snatch a knot in your tail. They'll get on uh, FaceTime with me. And the four-year-old, Savannah, she'll say that. That's what my stepfather used to tell me. But he meant it. All right, we're going downhill. Hit the brakes. Check out the trailer brakes. Get the air brakes going. I'm getting 10.4 miles per gallon. 10.5 now. So, uh, it's the longest two and a half hours I ever drove from Gibsonville. Isn't this pretty, folks? We are up here on the 40 in the Asheville area, mountains all around, mountain towns all around, Blue Ridge Parkway, three quarters of a mile, you know, I could get on it. That's a beautiful road. Well, I guess I'll end this one so I can look at my directions again. I know we're going to Waynesville, or Waynesboro, Somewhere like that is where we're going to be getting off that takes us to Maggie Valley. This uh, RV park, I think, is pretty nice. We got us an end spot, a pull-through spot that can take a 34-foot uh, Class A or 34 feet of whatever. We're only about 20. 21 and a half to be exact, even though it's only 16 on the inside. But with my truck, I'll be able to, you know, disconnect and then not have to park it beside it or anything. I can just uh, back it right up when we get back from riding around. So, yeah, we're going to do some shopping. We might even be able to just get there and set up and disconnect and go do shopping. I mean, Maggie Valley's not a, a town that you can't find stuff. 
but that Wayne's World or Waynesville or Waynesboro is probably the place to stop when we get off. Wayne's World, Wayne's World. <laughs> We're laughing and giggling, having a good time. Full of McDonald's. Disgusting. You're full. Because tell them what you ate and tell them what I ate. So how does that compare? There ain't to no better hamburger in the world gross. than a hamburger from and this a is cheeseburger from McDonald's. What did you say last night? You're not eating again ever. And what did you oh, do? Oh yeah, last you night. You had two. And what's the proper thing to Tammy, do? Tammy, you have know you one. can't leave it. Damn what did thing I, I say. What did I have? I had one. That's what you should have had. One one. Hamburger. Oh, today? Yeah, you had two. Well, the combination number seven Excuse comes Excuse me, two. you don't have to do that. They're just the tiny cheeseburger. You they're need not to the get, no, they're big not Big quarter tiny. pounder. Timothy, you get the kids meal like I did. Get the kids it's meal. It's cheaper meal. and you don't eat as much. All right, I got cars coming and cars mm -hmm. coming on the other side. That is the correct thing. Well, you heard it first, folks. I'm a fat boy. <laughs> she don't love me. And if I wasn't on camera or audio, she'd done snatch a knot in my tail. Bojangles, dinner served. That's gross. See that billboard? <laughs> Here's another McDonald's sign. How can you not eat at them when they're it's on disgusting. every exit? Look, McDonald's. Disgusting. Those are Fridays. I don't even eat online. Now, that's got some good taste and stuff. <laughs> I gotta slow it back down. I'm doing 65. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the driving video. I promised you guys it's not the best country road because it's the freeway, but it's still pretty. I'll tell you one thing. This Crusher, this Toyota Tundra, Speaking of Tundra, that's one right in front of me there. just got off. I would trust it to go anywhere. Although I know my camper's behind me, it's not that big. You know, it's not that big a deal. It's really nice. Got a nice rig here. <clears throat> I hate to give that 5,000 watt generator back, but I think we've decided to return it but I'm not going to be without one I want that 3500 then that's it's so cheap compared to a Honda and it's the inverter it's whisper quiet quite more quiet than this one and it's handy to have you know living in Florida and when you need power they say we can bring ours back no questions asked just can't have any fuel in it so it's full right now I'll probably run it for the next couple of nights uh, for electricity or whatever I might need. Watch TV at uh, my daughter's. Unless they want to run a drop cord out to me. I don't need 30 amp. We're not going to be running the air conditioning. I just need 120. So we're westbound and down. Tammy's... Uh, Oh, uh, I meant to say earlier, I get you guys funny in the comments. Tammy says, something about tires. I said, Tammy, they're giving it back to me. They want to see my tires because I've been nonstop about my new tires. I appreciate you guys kidding with me, following along the Tim Baker sense of humor. One thing I got, plenty of sense of humor. <laughs> Oh, Tammy's got a purple top on, a sweater. I never see her in long sleeves. She's always got these uh, short sleeve shirts. And the last couple of days, she's been wearing things to keep her warm. Gives her a whole different look. Oh, she appreciates the comments on her pink I love Sarasota. Pink. I love pink. Yeah. I bought her that at the Alvin's Island uh, tourist trap where they sell swimwear and things in um, Sarasota. Sarasota on uh, Lido Key, St. Oh, Armand Circle. Got like five different colors there. Yeah. yeah, we got a bunch of them. I lost one at a restaurant. 
So there's a sign up here that I gotta turn and do something. So I'm gonna crush it. <laughs>